So how's it going ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we don't have any cringy intros at the moment, but we have a deck profile for you guys today. So if you are new to Master Duel, then this is one of your go-to decks that you can try to test your skill on Yu-Gi-Oh! Now this is the Unchained Archetype. Now if you are new to Master Duel, this archetype is really cheap since your three um twin monsters are typically cheap in a way. So your Unchained uh, Aruha, your Rekia, and your copy of Sarama are all normal monsters or normal normal in rarity whereas your um abominable unchained soul and your unchained soul disaster are as are only for your main deck now for your extra deck your only monsters that is really relevant is three copies of unchained soul of rage the anguish and the two copies of abomination now that is the only ur card that you need for the unchained archetype other than that they're all srs and with the normal twin monsters they're all normal in rarity so that is very cheap for a starting um archetype that you want to learn second of all why unchain is really good to start on is because they have an archetype effect wherein basically once they are popped on the field they have a unique effect of summoning a monster from your deck to your side of the field unchained abomination every end of your turn or every end of the turn it pops one card on the field so that is one of its best effects there yet this deck is usually played as a go second deck because typically you can't do properly with the first turn deck with the unchained it's either you want to summon your unchained solo rage on your first turn but i think that's gonna be um irrelevant so going for a play style of going second for the unchained archetype is really good since of course you can add a ton of hand traps or you can have a ton of board breakers in the deck to perform well now why is this really important because the deck and otk the deck is really good in dishing out an otk on the on that specific turn so that is why this deck is better if it's going second furthermore we add a ton of kaiju monsters just to negate or destroy those pesky one card boss monsters that are unaffected by card effects Second of all, we added DPE into this mix just because DPE is a really good card to be on the field, popping one card on your side and popping one card on the other end, which of course it will benefit you most rather than your opponent. So with regards to hand traps, I have only two copies of Maxi because like I said earlier, the Unchained monsters are really easy to, to get a hold of a copy of another Unchained card from your deck out of the field that is why we only have two maxis and one snow rabbit for this you can go with two snow rabbits and one maxi because you can have a, a cross of designator if you wish but i prefer just having two maxis because most of the time your opponent is gonna scoop if, if you are gonna drop a copy of maxi from your hand and then you have three copies of ash blossom just for a uh, basic negate basic destruction two copies of combat grave two copies of ember the rest is gonna be history your escape of the unchained pops one unchained monster face up on the on your side of the field and pops one card on your opponent's end the abominable chamber of the unchained real summons one unchained monster from your, either your hand or graveyard just a really good uh, card to be added into this um deck for your extra deck one copy of dpe one copy of dingers of the orcas of the evening star really good level eight XZ monster then we have one copy of nightmare phoenix three copies of soul of rage one predipan verte anaconda for your fusion destiny one dark the dark charmer nightmare unicorn two copies of unchained soul of anguish one avramax two copies of unchained abomination and lastly one axis code talker now this is your lineup right there boys and girls now at this point on i don't want to narrate furthermore with the game replays because like i said it is really easy to um work with this deck it is very straightforward you, you don't need any help or whatsoever for this narration so if you are interested in the game replay just go directly to the game replay
So that is the deck profile guys and those are the replays. Hope you enjoy this kind of content and you can try this in the Duelist Cup later on since it's going to be the 24th. You can grind it out for more levels in the Duelist Cup. I prefer just going for rank. It's almost the end of the month and we're almost to the tier 0 format with a tier elements. Now that is it for me today. Keep safe, good luck and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.